Hi, my name is Justin Schaup, and I'm the engineering lead at Patch My PC. We develop a third-party patch management solution that integrates into Microsoft SCCM. In this video, we're going to be covering the 1806 technical preview for third-party software updates. So this one's kind of interesting uh, because it does kind of tie into what we're doing here at Patch My PC with our update catalogs. Uh, so what we're going to show you is how you can set this up uh, and how you can use it to help uh, get rid of scub. So it, it's still in preview. There's still some things that I think they're still working on uh, to improve this, but we'll kind of cover what's there and what it looks like to configure. So before I get started, I do want to note there's two different ways that you can you can configure your code signing certificate that needs to be used to publish third-party updates to WSUS. You could either have Configuration Manager handle the creation and management of it for you. If you do that, you do have to have your software update point running in HTTPS mode. Uh, if you don't have that, you would have to manually generate your code signing certificate that's used for the WSUS API. In this video, we'll go through both of the different ways on how we can configure that. Um, so jumping in, we're going to go to our console. Uh, this site is running HTTPS for the software update point, so we'll go through that process first. We would right-click our site, configure site components, and then choose software update point. Within the software update point, there's a tab called third-party updates. The first thing we want to do is enable that option. Uh, since we're using HTTPS, we're going to choose let config manager manage the certificate and then choose OK. The next thing that we're going to do is initiate a software update point because WSync manager is the component that handles the creation and management of the code signing certificate for third party updates. So we can see we uh, just ran a sync and we uh, at the end of that sync, we're doing the certificate for WSUS. So we can see that it was created, it got imported into the database, and it uh, successfully checked it for WSUS. Now I did talk to one of the engineers on the product group. There are some things going on where they expect some logging errors in the current previews, even though we can actually see that the creation was successful. We can also verify that by opening up the certificate snap-in on the server. And then within the WSUS certificate store, we should have a new certificate created called WSELS uh, Publisher Self-Signed. Um, so that looks good. Um, so now that that's done, if we come into this new node for third-party catalogs, in the current technical preview, it only supports HP. Um, so there's no option right now to import a custom URL. Uh, the only option that's supported here is the HP catalog. So that's what we'll go through covering in this first part. Um, so we'll go ahead and choose to subscribe to the catalog. We've got the download URL. Let me just uh, move this taskbar over. So we can get that next option. And then we'll choose next here. Uh, so the cab was downloaded successfully. Before we can actually start publishing updates, you do need to approve the code signing certificate that's being used for HP's catalog. Um, so we can see that they're just using a code signing cert and that does have to be approved in order for the catalog to download uh, and publish. So we'll choose next here and then next here. Uh, the next thing that we we'll do is go into our log files and we're going to look at a new log file. Oh, looks like I clicked out of that. Let's go back over here. We're gonna look at a new log file called SMS. Um, underscore ISV updates sync agent. Um, so what we'll see is that this is scheduled to sync. Uh, it runs every 24 hours. So to get the initial sync going, we're gonna right click our catalog and choose sync now. Then we'll just monitor this uh, ISV updates log and we should see some information happening here. Um, so we can see it's downloading the latest cab file. Um, and then it's going to verify that it's trusted, that you accepted that cert. And then what's going to happen, we should start processing these updates. Now, one thing I do want to note with this HP catalog is it is quite large. Um, so there's about 4,000 updates within here. Uh, now, there's no way to uh, do any type of filtering on the catalog when we're uh, using SCCM to publish it. So that is something you want to note. If you did come in here 
for the HP catalog and actually import these, you would get about 4,000 new updates. So with the WSUS issues around large metadata, uh, you, if you're not using HP machines, you probably wouldn't want to do this in the, uh, unless you were in a lab mode um, because this will put a lot of metadata within WSUS. So while we're waiting for it to start analyzing the updates, for example, if we come and look at our catalog, uh, what we can see is for the third-party updates we do over here at Patch My PC, uh, our catalog usually has about 230 updates currently uh, that would be unique and published. Uh, but for example, since there's no filtering uh, within the SCCM portion, we're trying to think how we can better handle our catalog metadata. So for example, uh, the way that we're doing things now is we're including all the products we support uh, into a single catalog, similar to what HP is doing, but for the publishing service that we offer, we can basically come in here and you can choose what products that you want to do before it even hits WSUS, before it even shows up in your site. Um, we can filter that down based on what you enable. Uh, so for SCCM, we're kind of thinking of how we could support this if the product group does open this up to allow us to do um, publishing of, of, of custom URLs. So we're thinking maybe we could add an additional parameter to the catalog URL for something like uh, where you can add and product equals Java, for example. So if you didn't want to have all the updates within our catalog, maybe there's a way on the server side we could give you the correct data based on an additional parameter in a URL if you didn't want to publish everything in our catalog. All right, so this is still running. It's been probably about 15 minutes now. So, you know, it's obviously a massive amount of updates within that HP catalog. Um, but while we're waiting for that, just because I'm impatient, you probably would want to wait for that to be done to do this uh, generally. But I'm going to sync the software update point uh, just so we can come in here and enable the uh, HP vendor and products that will be uh, published for these updates. So at this point, we do probably have a good majority of those updates uh, synchronized. Uh, that have been published. So we should be able to get this sync running. And uh, it looks like it's done now. So if we come back into our software update point, we should have the additional products here for the HP catalog. So under products, I do also want to, I think most of their updates are classified as updates. Um, so we'll go ahead and enable the updates classification. And then under products, we'll go ahead and enable the HP business client vendor and all the sub products for drivers, firmware, and software. Okay, um, we'll just, uh, at this point, we'll just wait for that log to complete for all the publishing. Uh, we can notice that it looks like, at least in this current preview, the component that's logging out here, looks like there might be some formatting issues because CM Trace isn't reading these values correctly. You can see how uh, we don't have any date time, for example, that are that's being read uh, throughout the CM Trace logging tool. All right, so it looks like it's done. I am noticing that even though the updates are being published and we can verify that, that in the log, uh, there are some errors that are showing for each update, even though they are publishing successfully. Um, so at the end, it does uh, note them as failed, but they were in fact successful. Um, so this is either something within the preview or possibly something, uh, you know, environment specific with the preview in our lab. Um, but what we can see if we go sync the software update point and monitor the sync manager log, we will actually see these updates flow in because they were published successfully. So we'll wait for this to complete and then we'll see the updates coming into our site. All right, so our software update point sync is now complete. We can see that we have about uh, 2,900 updates that were uh, synchronized. So that catalog actually had almost about 4,000. So it's most likely uh, they might be authoring some updates that are in different classifications than just the updates and security classification, uh, which is what we enabled. Um, so that's probably why we're not seeing all uh, about 4,000 of them. So coming back over to our console, if we do a refresh, we should now have uh, those 2,900 updates uh, available. There we go. Um, so they're gonna show up here in the all software updates page. Um, and they're also gonna show up here in the third party software update catalogs uh, where we publish them from. That's gonna be the catalog that we were using. 
Um, so in the all software updates, this isn't automated yet. I'm not sure if they plan to add any type of automation uh, because these updates are going to be published with metadata only when they get published. That means that we're not going to have the actual uh, installer file. So we couldn't actually right click and download or deploy these in SCCM because they haven't been published with full content. So what you would actually have to do here if you wanted to publish an update uh, and deploy it would actually be to right click and choose publish third party update content. So that's going to actually get the process of downloading the binary and the uh, publishing of WSUS going. So in the same log file, the SMS ISV updates underscore sync agent, this is where we can see that that binary is actually now downloading. Um, so we're getting it from HP. Uh, once that's downloaded, there, we're just, it's then going to use the WSUS API to actually publish that. So there we go. Um, so it's downloaded it and now it's uh, calling the WSUS API to actually publish that. Uh, so we'll wait for that to complete and then we'll run one more software update point sync and then it should be showing as full content where we could actually go and download this and deploy it in SCCM. All right, so it looks like the publish was complete. Um, so what we'll do, we'll come back in here and we'll synchronize our software update point one more time and see if we get that change. Okay, so looking in that WSync manager, we can see that we did resynchronize that update. So that looks good. So if we come back into our console, and if I search by metadata equals no, we can see that that update is now uh, published with full content. And at this point, we could then download and deploy it through an update group. So next, we'll revert that VM back, and then we'll set it up without our software update point using HTTPS. All right, so we're back uh, up and running. Um, so now our software update point is in the HTTP only mode. So we're gonna go back into sites, configure site components, software update point, third party updates, we're gonna enable it, but this time we're gonna leave that option to manually manage the certificate. We'll choose okay. And now you can either use SCUP to generate this or you can use our own publishing service for Patch My PC that can also generate it. Um, so either of these are fine. Uh, so we'll walk through using our publishing service. So we're just going to install the MSI really quickly. We'll go ahead and launch it. And we're going to choose over here to generate a self-signed certificate. Choose a uh, click on that. And that's going to generate the certificate for us. So that looks good. Now, if you were using manually, you would want to export this. And then we would have to use group policy or a config manager package to import that to our client's trusted root and trusted publisher certificate store. So they trust the third party updates. That process is also all documented within our setup guides that you can use uh, for deploying that certificate out and enabling the third party update policy. Um, so that's really all we would need to do if you just wanted to use our tool for creating the cert. And then we can verify it was created by looking in that WSUS store. And then you should have this patch my PC service certificate. Uh, this is going to be generated just like SCUP would do as well. Uh, one thing that we do is we automatically add that on your server into the trusted root and into the trusted publisher store. So you shouldn't have to worry about uh, configuring that so that your machine trusts it. That should happen when we create that cert through our UI. So one bonus thing that we did here, um, this is something that is totally unsupported, um, but what we've done is we've edited a few tables uh, where we've added our catalog into the partner catalog. So if we come over here, software updates, third-party catalogs, you can actually see that um, we've got ours in here as well. So for this second run, we'll go ahead and just configure our catalog URL uh, and subscribe to that catalog, just so it's a bit quicker uh, since our catalog is much smaller. So let me just move this guy over. We will go next here. And just like the other one, we're gonna to have to accept our code signing certificate. Um, so we can see this one is for patch my PC. We're gonna accept the agreement and then uh, next here and then next here. Just like the other subscription we did for HP previously, we can monitor that SMS ISV log. Okay. 
And we can see that it's now publishing all the third-party products within our catalog. Um, so we can see them all coming down here. Uh, one thing to note that uh, there are some additional certificates that you can review under the administration security certificates. So any code signing certificate that we include for our catalog for uh, third-party vendors that sign their executables, they're going to automatically flow in here just like any other catalog. So HP would have been doing the same thing here. Um, so we can see that these are a third-party software uh, update content. So these are the binaries for the content. And then we can see our catalog, our certificate is for the, um, the actual cab file that gets signed here. All right, so while we're waiting for that, uh, let's go ahead and do a software update point sync just so I can enable a couple of the products that we're gonna get uh, just for this demo. All right, so in WSync Manager, we can see those, uh, those uh, products uh, coming down. So if we come back into our software update point and we go to the products tab, we should start having some additional products that are showing up here. And now currently the catalog, it's just going to go under different vendors and products. We are looking at a way that we might want to consolidate that into a single product. Um, now that there's going to be some additional catalogs that may be out there for your SCCM site. Um, but in this demo, what I'm going to do is enable the vendor named patch my PC and then the scup updates. So we can see that's enabled. Um, so any updates that are coming down to our console, they should automatically be synced if they're already in that product. So we can see these updates coming down. Looks like that's all complete. So let's just do a quick search, see if we can get a small update for CCleaner. At this point, if we come over and choose to publish, we can see that we're downloading the binary from CCleaner, just like HP was doing there. And then we're using the API to go ahead and publish this to WSUS. Looks like the publish is now done. So if we come over here and run another software update point sync, monitor that guy. Okay, that sync is now done. If we come over here and search again, we can now see it showing up with full content. Um, so we're all good to go. We could then download and deploy this update. So that's all I had for this video. Um, one thing to note, what I did there with our catalog, totally unsupported. Uh, not something that we would ever give out to customers so they could enable this. What we're hoping is that the SCCM product group is going to allow the ability to come into the catalogs node and basically have an option for something like add catalog using URL. Uh, and then that would be where you could add a custom catalog like ours where we could go uh, add that and then sync that catalog to our site. Another thing that we're hoping will happen, um, I'm, I know this is still early and the product group is certainly still working on this, is to maybe have an option where when the updates sync, it could go ahead and kind of do like a automatic download so you wouldn't have to still come into your console manually. So that's something our publishing tool can do now where you basically come into the service. Uh, let me just show you what that looks like. You come into the products you wanna enable uh, and then what would happen, it would automatically publish it with full content if you have that full content enabled. Uh, so then it would just show up and be ready to deploy an SCCM using ADRs or searches where you could just go ahead and download it. Um, but definitely uh, very cool what they're adding here and we're hoping that it only gets better from here. Thank you for watching.